Welcome back everyone. I'm Charles with Continue Crushing Tech and today we are going to be doing a distance test. Now when I did the Mavic 2 range test uh, with the drone I ran out of battery before I ran out of reception on it, the controller. However there's a debate that came up with me using sport mode for that test. So today I'm going to be doing a test basically and figuring out can you go further with sport mode or in normal mode. Obviously in sport mode you're going faster but you're using more battery power and with normal mode you're not going quite as fast but battery power should be conserved a little bit better. So I'm going to be uh, flying the Mavic 2 zoom around and I'm going to be trying to do basically the same uh, laps around these hills right here and fly around in normal mode see how far we can get and then do the same test but in sport mode. Now I'm going to start with 100% battery for each battery of course for each test um, but one thing that I'm going to do is I will stop the test when we get to 20%. Um, I don't want to do the entire flight from takeoff to land. I'm going to do you know basically takeoff and then fly around until 20%. Um, so that way, in case I end up further away or something like that, I don't end up landing with 12% battery and 18% battery or something like that. So we'll go basically full battery to 20% sport mode versus normal mode and see uh, which goes further. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm doing a lot of testing with the Mavic 2, both the Zoom and the Pro. Now, if you have any questions or comments, make sure you put those down below. Oh, and before we continue with the test, go ahead and put a comment down below of what mode do you think is going to get the furthest distance for the drone? Is it going to be using it in sport mode or in normal mode? And if you want to put a bonus in there, go ahead and put how many feet you think it's going to go. Things are going okay, we're at 48%, but there is so much lag on the iPad that I can barely fly. Uh, it's very difficult to get smooth turns, uh, so the flight path is going to look pretty rough. All right, so I just landed and returned from uh, the first normal flight. So that was just flying around in normal sport, or not sport mode, in normal mode. Um, I had a lot of struggles. Uh, the iPad is running very hot. Uh, it's like 95 right now. So it's pretty warm, but I had it in the shade. Um, but the lag was so bad that I could not tell where I was going half the time. Uh, and there was several seconds delay in any mov movement uh, or controls. And so, I mean, there are the, if you look at my flight records here, it looks like I was flying drunk because I'm swerving all over. Um, and it's just me trying to correct the path. Um, so I'm gonna try out the iPhone 7 for the next one. Uh, but distance wise, uh, from 100% until I hit zero, or zero, until I hit 20% uh, was 42,864 feet. So now I'm gonna put another battery in here and uh, put it in sport mode and hopefully use my iPhone 7 and we'll have some better luck and uh, fly that around and uh, see if we get further uh, than 42,864 feet. All right, so I finally landed with the Mavic 2, and in sport mode, going around the, this very similar area, we ended up at 41,330 feet. Now, that comes within, but 1,400, 1,500 feet uh, of normal mode, so that's reasonably close, um, but I would still say that uh, there, that's enough of a distance, you know, over a quarter mile, um, that it seems like normal mode will be a little bit more uh, battery efficient. Um, so if you are going for maximum distance, normal mode might be the one you want. Um, now it is ultra windy right now. It was pretty windy when I was doing the test before, um, but the wind has seemed to pick up just a little bit. Um, so that may have contributed a little bit to it, um, but overall you can look at them and see that they're both pretty darn close, uh, you know, in similarities, but normal mode probably gets a, a slight um, you know upper hand in distance and of course thank you for watching if you have any questions or comments go ahead and put those in the comments below and uh, I'll see you in the next video all right so I finally landed again with the spark 